A standing ovation for Superintendent Sharon Contreras after she laid out a strategic plan that doesn't hold back. Syracuse currently lags behind the other large urban school districts in New York, and in five years, Syracuse wants to be the leader on test scores and graduation. Talania Jones was one of the parents who helped develop the new strategic plan, along with teachers, volunteers, administrators, and community leaders. Jones says there were tough debates about how to improve performance, but the plan sets clear goals. I think that it's important to have high expectations, not only of our students, but of our staff, of the district, and hold them accountable at every level. The plan presented by Superintendent Contreras resets goals for all aspects of the schools. Some of the highlights are developing a new consistent curriculum for the entire district, more reading and math support for pre-K students through third grade, and providing financial incentives for teachers that show positive results. It is important to incentivize high performance, but it's not just about money. We're also developing career ladders so that teachers can become coaches and master teachers, a peer observers. Megan Doss hopes the Great Expectations Plan lives up to its name. Her two daughters came with her to the presentation tonight, and she wants to know what the district is doing to improve. It's important. It's very important on the front of the children. And it sounds like a good plan. I just hope that we can follow through. And Superintendent Contreras says she knows people will want accountability, and she will give regular public updates on how the district is doing on achieving its goals. For now, reporting from Clary Middle School in the Valley section of Syracuse, I'm Alex Dunbar.